It wasn't reported in the daily newspapers, but the shift really did hit the fan. Things have changed. Man's view of his own position in our own local neighborhood and in the universe has changed drastically. We suddenly come face to face with facts. There are loads of planets out there. We used to think our solar system was the only one. There is new technology that we know about that not only can tell us about other solar systems, but that would enable us to go there if we wanted to spend the money. I have a great grandson. I hope when he grows up that we're more aware of all the alien visitors around here and that we stop looking like a primitive society whose major activity is tribal warfare. That's how I think aliens look upon us. In this era, which is uh, an expansive and creative period between the old paradigm and the new paradigm, which we are collectively and collaboratively creating. Um, the train of progression is leaving. Get your ticket, get on board, do your research. If there's stuff that interests you or troubles you, go down the rabbit hole, find out you've nothing to lose. This is the year for us to remember to ourselves who we are, where we come from, and where we're going. I think that people a century from now are going to look back on our time, and they're going to say that this era where we are now was the time when humanity went through a dramatic transformation. Always been tracking technology and, and looking for its place and solution and really excited about the phenomenon of 3D printing which has now really taken uh, the public by storm and I really see that as a, a real uh, opportunity for solutions. 3D printing is, is not really a solution in of, in of itself, but it's really a manifestation of this multidimensional consciousness which we're all living in. And it's really an outgrowth, an archetypal symbol of that, uh, that solutions process in manifestation. 3D printer is a, is a device that you can print 3D objects with, which would be pretty much, you can't do that without a 3D printer. So. The 3D printer kind of helped me build this device, which is a filament extruder. And basically, the filament extruder uses recycled plastic to print out the filament that runs through the 3D printer. So it's just a way of using your resources and actually making the filament that you're using to print 3D objects. Here we have an effect where the rollers actually spin without touching the surface. That's better than any lubrication. What? That's what's called a magnetic bearing absolutely nowhere. This is proof of concept of the SCG, the Searle Effect Generator. Now places like eBay and Google down in Silicon Valley, they're running off the grid. So the fact that they're allowed to run off the grid is a huge step for the rest of us when we actually bring in uh, new energy devices. Be careful with what you watch on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of useful information, there's a lot of disinformation, but right now on my YouTube channel Zero Fossil Fuel, I uh, have a wide variety of research topics including magnetic motors, hydrogen gas generators, uh, electric bikes, wood stoves, a uh, couple of funny videos, you know, we try to, try to have fun all the time. We are an unstoppable force and we are the catalyst for change in the world. You're not alone. We are not alone. There are millions of light workers out there doing incredible work. That's the incredible thing that's happened. Be aware of those people, that they have, each one of us is playing a critically important role, no matter how small we may feel we are, or how great we we made, are made to feel by the things we do. Um, everyone, no matter how small the thing is, well, even when you say, if you go to the local store and buy a packet of crisps and you say something to the person behind the cash register, you are planting a seed of consciousness with that individual and the energy that you present yourself with and you carry yourself with, with knowing that this quickening and this awakening is happening, that rubs off on everyone. I'm 13 years old. I've been an activist since I was six when I did uh, my first public speaking engagement. And um, I'm with a group called Earth Guardians and have been for about the last four or five years. And uh, we work on combating issues in our community that are directly affecting the future of my generation. 
pesticides, GMOs, climate change, our environmental crisis that you know we see right in our backyards. I've always just grown up in in, in nature, um, you know, playing in these lakes and rivers and, and hiking in the mountains. And my father raised me in the Aztec tradition, so you know, I, I think I've always had a connection with nature. And you know, he taught me that all life was sacred, that all life needed to be protected. And so I think, based off of that, um, you know, when I saw that, you know, the, the environments that that these different ecosystems that you know I, I that I was felt so connected to when I saw that they were being destroyed that you know it just pushed me into action you know I felt like I needed to do something and then I started educating myself about climate change about all these issues about fracking about GMOs about the Keystone XL pipeline and once that I had that education once that I knew about it then there was no way that I couldn't act you know with that information I couldn't not do something about this issue a lot of People in the alternative world uh, follow all those podcast shows, read all those books, see all those documentaries. And I did that for years and years and years and years. But I think the time now has come that people should act and not only consider it as information and entertainment, because there's a lot of entertainment going on in, uh, in this alternative scene. And I, yeah, I thought, OK, I have to do something. And I think Break for Energy technologies are really the umbrella solution that, uh, that can solve a lot of problems that, that we're facing together with the consciousness. And, and what we do at our conferences is uh, uh, we focus on the technology side of things, but what's even more important are the implications of these technologies, health-wise, for the environment, cultural, so social uh, implications. The economy, a very big one, when these technologies come online. And, and the third component is, is consciousness itself, because those three things have to go together. Uh, you can't have one without the other. We are free. Thank you.